Welcome everybody to another edition of Social News Interviews. I'll be your host today, Eric Erock Christopher, and we're excited to have another amazing interview. We've got a, a, an Amazon bestseller, a gentleman here today who has authored an incredible book that goes by the title of I Didn't Know What to Say, Being a Better Friend to Those Who Experience Loss. And we've got that gentleman here with us today, Mr. David Knapp. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, Eric. Thank you very much. Good. Thank you so much for being here today. And would you mind sharing with our viewers a little bit about yourself and your journey and how you came to, uh, to this point in your life? Yes, I, I actually grew up in the heartlands. I'm from southern Iowa. I grew up on the farm there and uh, was the oldest of a large family. However, when I was uh, 12 years old, my dad was uh, killed in a farming accident. My mom remarried and our family continued to grow. Following high school, I attended college in Kansas City, Missouri at a uh, Calvary Bible College and Seminary. Uh, following that experience, of course, I, I had met my wife and we were married. Her name was Ruth. She was from uh, Maryland, attended Washington Hospital Center as a nurse. Uh, we joined an organization called New Tribes Mission, which is a missionary sending agency. Soon I was asked to be on the leadership staff and teacher for some of their training schools beginning in Pennsylvania. From there we moved to Michigan. And while in Michigan, I was at the, uh, a Bible school, a junior college level school. I was the president, one of the professors there. During our time there, my wife was diagnosed with breast cancer. And after seven year battle, she uh, was uh, elevated to heaven. She died. And uh, by that time, I had four children. And the youngest one was just coming into preteen at that time. A couple years later, a lady had come to the school who was widowed herself, had four boys. We got together, and yes, we blended eight teenagers. Um, it worked out quite well, actually. A lot of challenges there. Uh, from there, we moved out west. I was in a, another school in western, I'm sorry, western Pens uh, Nebraska, I'm sorry, was where we were, um, and Wyoming was where the school was. It was called Frontier School of the Bible. And so while there, we, we were there four years and our continued blending the family, getting the kids married off. Yes, we had seven weddings uh, take place in the next few years and babies began to come. Uh, we, we, and I continued going back and working with the New Tribes Mission. Then we eventually we moved to uh, Ms., uh, Mesa, Arizona, where I live now. And uh, my wife was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. So um, three years ago, she uh, died as well. Uh, and at that time, we had 24 grandkids, uh, and I was still working with New Tribes Mission. Then I had the privilege of meeting a, a wonderful lady named Crystal Wacker, who was the editor and founder of a magazine for marginalized women called Reach Up Magazine. And so we got married and we lived together here working and serving, continuing to work with New Tribes Mission, promoting her uh, magazine as well as the writing this book. 